You know, as a five-time commander and as a retired one-star general, I've seen the cost of freedom up close and personal. I've had to go to 10 different people's doors and talk to those family members of the loss of their son or their child or spouse. And I've seen the, the pain and the, just the grief up close and personal. I've been a flag bearer at Arlington Cemetery 12 different times where I had to get on one knee and hand that flag to the next of kin. And I cried with them every time. And we live in the greatest country ever on this planet. We are given such great opportunity where no matter where you're born in life, in our country, whatever part of the economic ladder, you can climb your way up, achieve your dreams with hard work and character. We're also blessed with great freedoms. Every one of our Bill of Rights are so invaluable and important. And so we're just blessed with the greatest freedom and it really we've inspired countries all over the world uh, to have freedoms like us. But we gotta know this, our freedoms and our opportunity were not free. And today Memorial Day, we think of the 1.2 million servicemen and women who gave their life in battle, who paid the ultimate sacrifice so that we could have this great country. So today we honor every single one of those 1.2 million men and women. We also think of their families, the Gold Star families, uh, that sacrificed more than than anyone else in that in that process other than their son or daughter or husband or wife who actually lost their life and that's why it was so important that this past year we got this gold star bill passed out of the house we're going to work hard to get it through the senate we want to make sure we honor our gold star families for the rest of their life make sure they have access to the base and they have expanded coverages at the bx and commissary right now many of our gold star spouses lose that access and they feel disenfranchised and i think we can do better so again we're blessed to live in this great country. It was the servicemen and women who gave all that allowed us to have these great freedoms and opportunity. Thank you.